Hi Taurus and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well and this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Taurus sign so we can look at the cards, get a sense of the messages from what we see and that can help shape and guide the month for us. So let's see what we have. I've already shuffled these cards quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. Okay. So we have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Cups. So the Nine of Wands, we see uh, the figure here, he, ha he does have a bandage on his head and he's leaning on the wand and he's uh, behind him are the rest of the wands. And so uh, this is a card of being ready for what's happening next and having a lot of courage and determination that you may have been uh, stressed out or exhausted or beaten up or you maybe you feel that you're you're battling something but you're not ready to stand down you're not ready to lay down you're still standing you're still looking over your shoulder as to say I'm in this and I'm in this to win this because this really is a nine card it's close to ten and completion and though you may be hurting though you may be feeling bruised you are still standing and so it shows persistence a lot of grit determination some courage you may feel that you need to protect yourself perhaps from something that's coming up or that you're in a position where you have to defend so this is a it's always a interesting card because of the nature of the bandage on the person's head or the on the icon's head as if to say boy I've kind of been through the ringer here but look at me I'm still standing and I'm ready for what's next and I'm going to be able to tackle it so I also think that there's a sense of you know you appreciate your predicament but you are you know you're aware of what you're going through and and it's certainly not easy but you're going to show, you know, the inner resolve. And that, again, it's the grit that we, sh that we use when we have to use it. And so having this very fierce sense of um, uh, protecting yourself, defending yourself, ready to stand for the next, whatever's coming next, Here's the King of Pentacles, and he is relaxing in his throne. He's got a pentacle on his lap, surrounded by greenery, and he is an excellent business person. He's someone who is loyal, dependable, responsible. The pragmatic energy of the Pentacles, which is to plan, 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 think about it, make your plan and start to work on it and uh, you know this could be someone that you work with someone in your family it could be a spouse someone who really uh, is quite grounded and that you could go to again for advice uh, for counsel this he's successful when it comes to uh, investments businesses enterprise and enjoying the abundance and the comforts that he's earned through hard work. The King of Pentacles is not afraid of work and knows that it takes sacrifice and dedication and focus in order to get to the top. So while you're defending yourself and protecting yourself, you have uh, this energy here which is to take care of your matters take care of the things that you need to take care of on paper on your spreadsheets 
follow up phone calls, whatever it may be, but it's being on top of things and being able to multitask and knowing where you are in each aspect. If this is related to finances, if it's related to travel, business travel, personal travel, uh, the king of pentacles can do it all. And so I think that's always a favorable energy, maybe not the most exciting king, but he is grounded, stable, secure, and hardworking. Uh, and that common sense really is the, um, uh, one of the hallmarks of the pentacles. So along with, um, protecting yourself and being in charge, getting things done, working your plan. We have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is such a delicate, lovely card. And we see the one figure, one icon, giving the other icon a cup full of flowers. And this is a card uh, that brings out a couple things, a couple thoughts, which is one, it's one to show kindness and consideration to others. And to not forget that and to uh, it's a simple act of doing something nice for someone and for someone to receive it it's uh, a simple and beautiful gesture then we have the idea here of nostalgia which is going down memory lane and thinking about times past that perhaps bring you happiness, that bring you joy, that bring you comfort. And, you know, it's, as I always say, it's, it's good to visit it in your mind. And maybe, you know, maybe you're going to be reconnecting with someone from your past. Maybe you're going back to your college, old college, or your old stomping grounds, your old job. You're hanging out with people that you used to work with. There's a sense there of that familiarity brings comfort. But when we live in the past, then that prevents us from really moving forward. So it's always the balance of, of going down memory lane, but don't get stuck living glory days as Bruce Springsteen sang when you, you keep telling the same stories over and over about your high school baseball team or whatever it may be, you know, acknowledge it and process it and put it in the place in your life and, and move on. On the literal level, again, it could be that you're going to be working with children or that you're simply reconnecting with someone. Maybe it's on Facebook, maybe it's uh, by email, text, or you run into them at the store, something like that. But most of all, be gentle, be kind, be giving. So interesting reading, very nice reading, I think. Uh, you know, even with the nine of wands, which shows some, may show some exhaustion, may so, show some heaviness, but really it's about protecting yourself and really digging deep and hanging in there. So what do we have? We have 9, 10, and 16, and that reduces to 7. 7 is about reflection, it's about using your mind, it's about discovering and incorporating your wisdom. And then to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card with a, a little more information. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the, the love within each person, including yourself. Your uh, resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Hmm. I, I would say it connects to the Six of Cups which is the heart of it, love. 
kindness and compassion. And so when you, uh, you know, when you can get past all the noise, focus on the love. Focus on the love. Tell me what you think about See Only Love. Let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, welcome to new subscribers. Thank you so much. Comment, like, and share, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.